Hey everybody, it's me Donna. I hope you all are having a really good day today. Um, yeah, it's Sunday. So, um, I'm sitting in the kitchen. And, uh, I got my Bible out. And, um, there was this lady that used to do these, um, where she'd tell you, like, five, five dollars extra of food and stuff like that. And, and she was really nice. It's having coffee with Granny or something like that. And she was she was really nice. And I think she's probably still doing her um, YouTube videos and stuff. But I just think about that. I think about that now, right now, because of everything that's going on. You know, coffee with Granny. Granny, you know, she had the right idea about stocking up. Because there's a lot of rumors going on. Um, I know some of them are probably true. Like they're talking about um, the farmers aren't, well they planted a lot of stuff but they're letting it go bad in their fields and stuff. They're not picking it because the restaurants are not having, like people are not showing up to have dinner and stuff like that. So they're not picking that and um, which is bad. And it seems like a lot of stuff is happening. So it's not it's not fun right now. And um, I'm drinking coffee. So, did your grandma ever say to you, one of these days you will have to go through the end of the time, um, well, the, the end of the Bible where the res res um, uh, revelations is and stuff. The mark of the beast. Well, my grandma said that to me. And that, um, you know. And she also told me what it was and stuff. And I remember, you know. So, Granny did tell me that. But a lot of people don't know it. They don't know about the mark of the beast. They've never heard of the mark of the beast. Because there's a lot of people that have never went to church. Who never sat in a church and and had church service, or never heard Bible verses and stuff, which is really sad. Because and they don't know about Jesus, which is really sad, because Jesus is so um good and 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 he's like he 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 gives himself up for us for the for our sins and stuff. So we won't have to go through all that, all that stuff. Well, that's what it says. But then it says, uh, you know, sometimes the, uh, there's parts in the Bible where it's like confusing, like, um, like about the handmaids and stuff. Well, there were so many handmaids, and so many of them were prepared, and the other half of the handmaids were not prepared. They didn't have oil in their lamp, so. Um, I mean, this is kind of, I don't want to be bad, but this is a contradiction because, and in, in like, I think it's like a math, I'm not sure if it's in Matthew, um, I'm not real, I, I know some of my Bible, but I don't know all of it, I know that sounds bad because my brother, he was really good, he loved to read the Bible, he read the whole thing, I don't even know how many times he read it, but he read it quite a few times, and then, um, Maybe people don't think this is a contradiction, but I kind of do because, okay, told them to be prepared, right? Told them to be prepared, and then it tells everyday people not to worry in the Bible um, what you will eat and what you will do and all this other stuff. So you're supposed to have faith in God, which is really important. You are supposed to have, but these other people, they the, the handmaids and stuff, they were prepared because, like, some of them weren't prepared and the other half were prepared. Um, so, yeah, so, and then it talks about the flowers. I think that's in Matthew. I really do. Let me see. I see how bad I am. If John, he would have told you. He would have said, oh, oh, it's in Matthew. Oh, it's this verse or whatever. But no, Donna's not that good. Donna's, Donna's never been that good. Okay. But I do have my reading glasses, so that's pretty cool. I got these from the dollar store, 
and I want to go back to the dollar store. And um, so anyway, so I don't know. I think it was in Corinthians. It's either in Corinthians or Matthew that they talk about, you know, like not worrying about because the birds, God feeds the birds and a bunch of other stuff. So, but anyway, but a lot of people, oh, I wish right now that I was a prepper. I really do, or a minimizer. I would like to be both. The prepper and the minimizer. Because I got a bunch of junk. Oh my god. I got so much stuff. And it's it's stuff that I gathered. Um, you know, I like my stuff. I really do like my stuff. Oh my god. And you're not supposed to do that. You're because it, it even says that in the Bible that you're you can have stuff, but um it says uh also talks about giving up your stuff too. And um about the rich man and the, uh, he can't get to heaven and stuff because he doesn't want to let go of all his stuff. That's pretty much it. Or he doesn't want to follow. He's like, give me a couple of days because I got this to do and that to do. And then, um, then he, um, Jesus, Jesus kind of scolds him and he doesn't, he doesn't go with Jesus like the other, other, um, you know, like. Peter and Paul and them. He does. He doesn't go with Jesus. So anyway, so I'm just listening. I mean, not listening. I'm thinking about the Bible. I've read some of the Bible, but um. So anyway, I really. And it says in the Bible, "Blessed are the poor, for for." Yours is the kingdom of God, and blessed are you who hunger, hungry now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed is you who weeps now, will let you will laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and then they exalt you, and I don't know what that word is, and reject your name but as evil, because you are the sons of God. It says, rejoice in the day and relief, relief and, and joy, because great is your reward in heaven, for this is, this is how their father treats the prophet. So it's, uh, I didn't read it all. And it says, woe to you who are rich, for you already receive your comfort. Woe to you who are well fed. For you will go hungry. Oh wow. Well that's not very nice. Well, well so the Bible is interesting. And um. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that don't, don't know about the mark of the beast. And that's scary. And uh. Yeah. So. So that's really really sad. That they don't know about that. So, um, but then it does talk about the birds and the, um, flowers and how well they're clothed and stuff, which is very beautiful and very nice and, um, not to worry about stuff, you know, and then, um, yeah. So anyway, so the mark of the beast is in like uh, Revelations 13. And it says you won't be able to sell or buy anything. You have to have that mark. And if you don't have it, then you have you can't get nothing. You won't be able to get no food. You won't be get you won't be getting anything. You won't be anything. Um, a lot of people don't believe in that. They don't, they don't think that day is ever going to come. And, but I do remember my grandma telling me about it. You know, it's, and it, it does make you um, think about it. it. Makes you think. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of scary. And, uh, not everybody thinks it's scary, but some people do. So, I think it was, what was it? It was. Of Revelations 13, 13, 
16 and 14 and 10. That's what it was. So, um, I put my glasses on so I can see the Bible. So it says, where is it? Oh, well, my eyesight is, my eyesight is okay. Here we go. He says, he also forces everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free or slave, to receive a mark on his right hand or his forehead, so that no one shall buy or sell unless he has this mark, which is the name of the beast and the number of his name. So call for wisdom. If ever anyone has inside, let him calculate the number of the beast. It is a man's number. His number is 666. That's what it is, 666. And then down here on, on 14, 1410, right? It's 1410. It says, what does it say? Wow, my glasses are a little foggy. 1410, it says, I see nine, here's 10. Where is 10? Here it is. He will drink of the wine of God's fury, which has been poured full of strength in the cup of his wrath. And he will be tortured and burned and suffer in his presence of the holy angels and the Lamb of God. And the smoke their torture raises for e forever and ever. And there is no there is no rest day or night for those who worship the beast in his image, or for anyone who receives the mark of his, the mark of his name. And this is called patience enduring on part of the saints who obey God's commandment, remain faithful to Jesus. And I heard a boy from heaven say, Right, right, blessed are the dead who died in the, in the Lord for now on. Yes, says the Spirit, and they shall rest with from their labor and from their deeds will follow them. So that's, that's the Bible verse. And um, there's more. And then it talks about the harvest of the earth. And said, so I looked before me, and a white cloud, seated on a cloud, was was one, like a son of man, a golden crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. And then the angels came, came out of the temple and called in a loud voice to him, who was sitting on the cloud, Take your sickle and reap, because the time to reap has come. And the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he was seating on a cloud, swinging his uh, sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvest. Another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. And still another angel, who charged with fire, came from the altar, calling a loud voice to him, who had the sharp sickle. Take your sharp sickle and gather the custards of grape from the earth vine, because it is ripe, I mean, grapes are ripe. And the angel slung his, his sickle on the earth and gathered his grapes and flew them into a great wine press of God's wrath. And they all trampled in the wine press outside the city and the blood flew out of the press raising as high as horses bridge for um distance of a, a thousand and six six hundred and um, but it doesn't say six it says something else okay and that is something there so anyway i read that bible verse i read some of the bible verses to you but yeah, a lot of people don't know about the mark of the beast. Yeah, and then, um, but you need to know, you need to know what the mark of the beast is. And um, more and more people are thinking that it is the chip, when they, they're going to put a chip in your hand, and that is the mark of the beast. And uh, 
So when they put them, if they put, if it's a chip and they put that in your hand, then you're not going to have free will anymore. You won't have free will. So they'll be able to tell you to do stuff that you don't want to do or you wouldn't want to do. Like to hurt somebody or um, do mean things, cruel and mean things. So um, that's something to think about. And then um, you're not going to be the same person that you were if you have a good, you know, you believe in God and everything like that. You're not going to be the same person. So you have to think about that. What you're going to be like. And um, so, yeah. So you need to think, what is God? Who is God? What does he believe in? What does the devil believe in? Destruction. Pain. Misery. That's what the devil believes in. Okay. So think about it. Think about it. And, uh. This is, um, I know this is uh, uh, not the sweet, nice videos, but I want, I have some more nice videos I want to do too, so I don't know. Um, I think a lot of people are worried and scared, and um, they're not really sure what's going on, you know. So, um, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And um, write me a comment and stuff. Okay, I love you all. And I hope you're having a good day. If it's day or night. Whatever it is for you. And that you're, um, you, if you're even if you are stuck in a house. That you, you, you can find stuff to do that you enjoy. Um, so some people don't believe the virus is real. Or they believe that their numbers are, they're racking up the numbers. And they're, they're lower than what they are. Or, um, there's some other theories too, like, like, um, this might be a really bad one, but, um, that China owns the United States now, and that's why we would have to get them a, 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 a chip in our hand, because really China owns America, and people are not going to like that idea that that's what really happened. Okay, so not everybody believes like that. And then um, people were talking about the the 5G towers and stuff and how bad they are. And you know that right now, down in Baltimore, they have the drones. And the drones are telling people to keep their distance and stuff. And there's a movie that they have the drones in it. I think it's called The Healer. Yeah, The Healer. And um, I think that's the name of it. It's about uh, people... And they have drones in those movies, and those drones are not good. And uh, they are chasing people. You know, if you don't do what they want you to do, they will, they will take and uh, fry your butt or shoot uh, a ray at you, and you'll get hurt or killed or whatever. So, um, you know, just think about it. So this is my video, and I love you all. And uh, I know this is a little out there, but. Um, yeah, I love y'all, and I figured that uh, this this is a good video. Um, so uh, my brother read a, my brother read the Bible a lot, and uh, my grandmother read the Bible, and um, oh my great my granddad read the Bible, and um, my grandmother read the Bible. Well, I don't think my granddad read the Bible because um, the way I heard it, he he um, he could only sign his name, and that was it. But I'm sure, you know, I'm thinking that more people back in, uh, like, not this, not, um, like the generation, not my mom's generation, but the generation before that, there was a lot of people that believed in God. There was a lot, a lot of people that believed in God, and then their hearts were more pure and stuff, and they did more stuff for God, because they built all the churches and different things, and they, um, they prayed a lot and they, um, all that stuff. So, um, and, and, uh, it seems like as the generations are getting more and more not, they don't even teach about Jesus and God in the schools anymore either. They just, uh, they used to say the Lord's Prayer, which was really cool and everything. But, um, but yeah, let me keep going on. But, um, this is my video and if you like it, 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, write me a comment if you, yeah, give me your opinion. Okay, I love y'all. Be good and stay out of trouble. Bye.